Hey everybody, this is Donna with Johnny Z's Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and kept the title here for the repeat in 2024. Stop by, I'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm sure there's 2006 uh, Lexus IS250. It's approaching 66,000 uh, kilometers, which is only 41,000 miles. That is it. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot of discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price until you come on a lot, or when you're on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon, or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Lexus IS250 is a five-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being U.S. dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way for rains. It's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you get to be a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you may consider buying a dash cover. Or if you want to keep it simple, go ahead and get yourself a bath towel or beach towel and uh, put that across. So with that, let's jump on inside. Let's get this baby started. So this is a uh, leather. Or are these seat covers? Yeah, these are seat covers, actually. Pretty nice quality. All right. Key fob on your person, foot on the brake. It is a push start. You're going to push this one time, and it goes... Here for now. Turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. Sixty-five thousand six thirty-five on the odometer. Showed a couple of warning lights. The blinking one, obviously your seatbelt. Uh, make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Uh, the one below that, that is your um, your emergency brake. This one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengages, goes away. Kick it again, engages, comes right back on. Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, especially if it's red, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here, you have your uh, monitor. This one does have a rear camera, looks a little blurry. All right, and then you do have some uh, settings on this. So this one, the top left, is your air conditioning. So you uh, pick which direction, how hard you want the fan, and whether you have the AC on or off. The one directly below that, the second one, is your radio. So let me turn this, this is the power button, let me lower that volume. Of course it's set to 89.1 and uh, AFN, and then you have all your other presets right here. And then you control the sound and so forth. So let me turn that back on. We're back, oops. The volume, and then turn that back off. And then the one over here, that is on the top right, it will bring it back to the Japanese navigation. Now you have a couple other settings for your air conditioning, uh, the radio, ashtray lighter, your shifter, cup holder, and your center armrest slash console that's going to open up, give you an extra cup holder, and it's going to give you an aux and power outlet here along with a little bit of storage. Continue to the left, you have your glove box. This guy hanging out right there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. Works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And then a uh, little bit of space and cup holder on each door panel and just does come out if you have something a little bit larger. Okay, that is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out down there. And then this is the space I have on my side. Let's see, the seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, pretty good right where I am. Or I could probably slide it up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. All right, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. I really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All right. Now I'd like to take this time to show the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. 
graded not accident from the auctions up in mainland all these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all the cars we can for each one and some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet stop by we'll explain why so it's graded four from the auction with a bnb and an exterior interior so it's a very good grade very clean car and that's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself and we'll help you decipher it if need be now let's go over a couple other things before we go to the back seat now these is's they're notorious for the um, for the dashes to what I call the melting dash or sticky dash uh, syndrome. Uh, this one's not in too bad of shape. It does have a little gout, a couple gouges right here. That is normal, unfortunately. Um, and some of them will have cracks on them. Eventually, this will get sticky, so you definitely want to get yourself a nice windshield visor. Try to keep this as cool as possible. Same thing with the door. You can see so some of the nicks are here. That's just how they are, unfortunately. Okay. All right. And then it does have the paddle shifts. So if you want to, um, that's going to be in the plus and minus section where you could use those. It, and it also has cruise control. Let's go over here. Let me open this up. So down here, uh, this is good, or on the right side of the dash, that's going to control the, the brightness of the dash. And then uh, trunk release and your gas cover release. And then underneath that, you have your hood release. On the door panel, you have your mirror, door lock, and window controls all right here. All right. So to turn it off, your foot does not have to be in a brake. You're just going to push that one time, and it turns off. Come over here. Now, if, you, if you've been watching my videos, you're going to know that once I get in there, I can't turn my foot, okay? So with this seat all the way back and all the way down, because the, uh, it's a motorized or electric seat, the motor is on the bottom. So if you have this all the, way down, all the way back and all the way down, there is absolutely no room to put your foot straight, okay? So it has to go uh, slide it up a little bit and uh, come up a little bit. So this is a selfish car for me. I would not want anybody driving behind or driving or sitting behind me when I'll drive. That's just my personal preference. All right, so over here, you do have some vents over here that's going to help cool down the car a little quicker. And then nothing as far as storage on the door panels, but you do have this armrest that will come down and it will give you two cup holders okay yeah this getting in the way there hold on a second okay right now i'm gonna have to back up back out of here all righty show you okay here you have your rear space pretty nice size trunk Go to the front here, show the engine compartment. We're going to wrap this video up. Here you have it. It's a 2.5 liter V6 engine, nice and clean. And there you have it 2006 uh, Lexus IS250. Uh, 66,000 kilometers on it again, but only 41,000 uh, miles. Military prices down to 6,600. Additional military discount will get it down to 6,400. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 6,400 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars to show we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Specific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. You as Dallas Cash out, right? Or take advantage of the 0% finance of 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.